now <laughs> and please put them in the chat so I can see it. I will sing that John on stream like I'm trying to remember this Snickers theme song. But um, it looks like they're about to start. Yeah, we have Azure Redeemer versus Deli Bird and Zinro, Captain Falcon and Deli and DDD, um, excuse me, versus Marth and Rob. And I'm sure Vash is loving these new buffs that came to Rob in 1.14. Oh, yes. But um, I think that's a weird team, DDD and uh, Captain Falcon. They're two really tall guys getting ready to get wrecked. Yeah, like, but you have um, one heavy hitter. I mean, they're both heavy hitters. Right. But one's um, a big body, one's a fast body. So I think, I think. Okay, I thought Zimba was gone already. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, oh man, that's too early for that stock loss. Real too but early. They're just like big targets, and then uh, they just throw out hit boxes. Marth with his sword, and then uh, Rob with his projectiles. It's like, damn. Yeah. You got to get through and through all that BS. Yep. I feel like Marth is going to be able to space both of these characters really well, but the issue comes in if he's caught by either one of them at any time, because I feel like if he's caught one, they're going to chain him right off the stage. Right, and that's the struggle. Yeah. This is a, it's a well. Oh, oh nice. Zenvo holding that. Like his life depended on that side smash connecting to him, and it didn't hit anybody, so pretty much this man's on death row right now. <laughs> right, and um, right now they're doing a really good job holding center stage. Um, Zenro and uh, Delibird. I'm really surprised how how much they have a nice percent lead. Both characters are ready to ready to die. They're all most of them are in death percent other than Captain Falcon. The Falcon is playing really invasively. He's just rolling all over the place, which is uncharacteristic for your you know everyday Falcon. Not saying that it's a wrong way to play, but I'm saying it's unchar uncharacteristic as Rob catches a back air, a falling back back air from Eat all of it. But um, you know everybody has their own style with characters. I've seen some um. Patient, really lame uh, Captain Falcons, if you can even consider that a thing. It's not a thing. Falcons are always... Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he, he, he just... No, I was talking about Deli Bird. Oh, yeah. He, he just, like, went gone. I, what happened? He just got hit. He got clocked, man. You know, he's a big body. He got hit with everything oh, but the... Oh, that was crazy. Deli Bird had that coverage. The bouncing good on the last size, size match coming up. Like, yeah, he's been... He practices those religiously. Like, he works on those Gordo setups, and he's really getting... He's getting really good at them. Without throwing them out consistently. I mean, DDD is a really strong kid. I, honestly, I feel like if a if a player can really practice with DDD, he he's great in singles. I feel like he's kind of uh, a liability in doubles, though. I agree. I agree with that completely. Just because he's just so big and slow. Yeah, I agree with that completely as well. But um, you know, DDD has a lot of good projectile. The the, the Gordo's a great projectile. That he can zone it and make traps. If you play smart, oh, see, look. That was cute. I yeah, like a little, the there. star toss into whatever. See, that, that was a nice idea because he actually sends his opponent, be, I'm sorry, puts his partner beyond both opponents, so then you have them sandwich them. Right. Oh, Fadima almost had that. That was, that was ballsy. You got to give him A for the effort. That's like a C plus for results. Yeah, you know, we, we, we get weak. Oh, Vash. don't. That, oh, that tipper. It's see, over. if Vash was real, he would have just dropped that counter. If you was real, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Counter. How real are you? But when you play the the, the Fire Emblem characters, you don't think about counter. Counter. Yeah. Sometimes you forget it, and then when you remember, you're like, "Oh snap! I'm gonna throw it out," nah, and then chill. you get grabbed. If you, you main coin, you remember. Happy that peanuts soar over chocolate cover of mountain tops and waterfalls of caramel. Prancing nougat in the meadow sings a song of satisfaction to the world. Yes, thank you. I do not. That remember. was literally a commercial that I saw, and I was like, man, I need a Snickers. <laughs> I saw that, and I was like, you know what? They win at advertisement. I went and bought a Snicker. Man, I think I think DJ needs a Snicker right now. He's not acting the same way when he's hungry. Yeah, he's yeah. like, man, looking like <laughs> he's, he's missing a, little, a couple of stocks. Eat, eat, eat a Snickers. Why? You're not you when you're hungry. Oh, oh he, he needs a Snickers. He, you he just killed your teammate. Yeah, he's he's cranky. He's cranky. Right that's, now. An <laughs> that's hunger. That's what hunger does to you, gentlemen. Very gentlemen. true. Yo, he said, you know, you know he's, gonna, he's gonna eat somebody. I, I, was it use inhale? Assuming that they were Snickers. Right. It's just he's just extremely hungry. Oh man. Thank oh, the very nice reflection of the Gordo from Redeemer. Redeemer doing the Rob job. It's crazy that Rob is like one of the best, if not the best, doubles character that W a double partner that can keep everybody. Oh, he off just the said. He said, "Eat the floor, man. Laser. Eat the floor." But shout out to everybody that uh, sent me the um, the theme song on the stream. I love all of y'all. Thank you. That that you know when you get something stuck in your mind and you just gotta get it out. Yeah. Like you just have to read it. That's what y'all did to me. Thank you. But right now, oh, whoa! He misspaced it. And the forward caught, throw killed him. He got him. caught with the forward throw. He wasn't even grabbed. That wasn't planned. But well, you know what? We take it. We, we take it. He got he got hit, but we take it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. But right now, if anybody, I feel like Vash needs to just go in and start fairing DDD. Your fair beats out any fair that DDD wants to um, throw out. I think the only thing that DDD may be able to beat with is his nair. But if he whips that, he has a lot of in-lag on that move. 
Yeah, unless it like ledge cancels or like uh, auto oh, yeah. cancels on the floor. Yeah. But um, right now he's at 181. But keep in mind his rage is ridiculous. A back air might even kill Rob at this percent. Oh uh, no, power driver. Yep, that's it. They, they nerfed it, but they didn't nerf it that much. Nah. But I find it silly that Rob of all characters caught a nerf. His throw needed to be nerfed. He doesn't he doesn't deserve a combo throw and a kill throw Wait, that strong. Why not? He was fine. He was not fine. He was fine. Once people understand how to use the top, it's busted. Yo. It was busted. Jamie been hanging out with the white guys too much. I agree. Like this man, he hung out with Vex trainer last night. He comes in here with a, a quart of um <laughs> of Wawa Wawa. Ice tea. Yeah, he he heard he heard about the secret, the True. best secret of Philly, the Wawa man. The two for fives, that is so clutch. So clutch. Oh, yeah, true. Two for fives, what? Wawa is a glorious, glorious invention. Yes, Wawa is all that in a bag of chips. Wawa is like a 7-Eleven that's hungry, but was fed a snicker. <laughs> the end result. The end result it's of the commercial. It's very true. Like, everyone who's like, oh, we have a 7-Eleven, you don't know the glory. You do not. The only glory you know is for glory. And trust me, that means you do not know much. That is not glorious at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what's crazy? I was playing for glory last night, and I realized that there's just a certain style you have to play when you play on for glory. Because like everyone plays, especially when they're down a stock, everyone starts getting stops getting aggressive, which doesn't make sense because if you're down a stock, you should be the one aggressive. Uh, see, that's situational because if you're down a stock and you get aggressive and get punished for it. You're well, no, lose. but it's like, don't stand back, like, doing nothing or throwing projectiles. I don't have to approach. That's I don't. understandable. You right. have to approach, but do it carefully. I don't have to do anything. I won. I'm up to one. Right. You're absolutely right. But um, I like how Deli Bird changed the core, and that's a, a better character for doubles oh, by yeah. miles, by leaps and miles. I remember last week I said, I don't think Corrin is good, a, a good doubles player. Boy, have I have been proven wrong. Yes. Like, Corrin is a great character. She's a lot easier to, to learn. Than, Oh, okay, Zenro lost his. He just, he just gave him that. He's like, you can take one. I don't need this stock. I'm Spider Man. Everybody gets one. Right. <laughs> Everybody gets one. Take Everybody it. Everybody gets one. Oh, they killed the duck. Good job on Zenro. He's going to win. Even if he doesn't win this game, he's a winner at heart. He won. He has the most points. Oh, up air. Good DI. But uh, right now, uh, the red team has a decisive, decisive, decisive lead over the um, over blue team. They're holding it down, they're not getting punished for much. The corn switch seems to be working out for Deli Bird, but Zenro needs to start playing more cautious. He's just going in guns blazing, and he's getting punished a lot for it. Oh, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it! Oh my god! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> as I say gorgeous. that, that the blue gorgeous. team double team combo. I oh. love it. That was beautiful. Can I get another one? I need that needs to be Giffy Catter, guys. I need, I need, I need to see that. We need somewhere. a hot shot. Yeah, I need to see that. Oh, that, that, was, that was just gorgeous. I saw the paralysis. Faka was there, was looking for half a second. He said, like, "Elbow, elbow to paralysis to another elbow to forward air to up air." Like what? He, Why? He, he took a second right before that final elbow and said, "Thank you for press, for blessing me with this glorious consistency. opportunity." You lucky? It's he's so lucky. His doubles. That'd have been a Falcon punch. True. Or he's, his partner was like oh. behind him. That'd have been a punch. Oh. And um. But that was Bird, but that was Corn's first stock. So you know, uh, Della Bird's holding strong. Wow. Ah, but then. Yo, he said, equalizer. go back to face. You're not here. I'm the hero king. He said, that's why Nintendo doesn't give you any more games. Oh, that's messed up. Too soon? That's messed <laughs> up. Oh. That's insane. Zenro is getting comboed crazily. I still can't wait to play face. Like, this is a little off, off topic, but I can't wait to play face. I want to know why Corey can turn into a dragon. I'm, I, I, it's going to be something like a half-blood dragon, half-human. Something Probably. like that. Yeah. My question is, why is this dragon shooting water? Why, why are they playing? Right. Uh, why do they run barefoot? I'm okay with that. I you mean, know, you know, in the wild, humans don't naturally have shoes. But my uh, question is, why does she shoot water? I've never seen a dragon that shoots water. P ele p water that causes paralysis, guys. The elemental dragons in face, though. Speculate. Spe the speculation is real. <laughs> I, fair enough. But um, back to the match. It's a. It's about as even as it can get. But the only issue is that Zyro is in the. Kill range and so is Corrin. Up, oh, as I say that, Corrin eats a deliberate eats a force smash. Oh, sorry guys about the names. Um, we fixed that for you, but um, dang, Zyro just got trashed. Whoa. See what I like about Corrin side B getting some caught into the ground is yeah, it's good for momentum, but when you're in a double situation, you can just be handled because you're prone to anything. Right. At that moment, because you can't activate automatically. 
So you're prone. But I saw last week when there, it was Corin versus Deli Bird and Apple, sorry, versus, versus Biddy and Apple. When they when Corin did that, she was constantly catching fairs. Oh, Vash going down. That's unfortunate. But you know what? That was okay. The, the second time they did better, Zyro needs to still work on his double skills. But yeah. uh, I see the potential in this team. Yep. They work pretty well. They have a like, good combo with potential. We'll right now, we'll Bash and Redeemer do go up 2-0, um, and they'll be moving on in the doubles bracket. Yes. Don't forget, guys, if you guys have did not know, this is the stream you want to be on to watch the, fin the finals of doubles. I mean yes. win uh, winners' finals. I mean losers' finals. I mean grand, grand finals. finals. Yep. And who knows? Maybe it'll be Papa Pun and myself on the mic. It's going to be fun. I'm hoping so. We have snorting good time. We'll see. Look at that. Look, look at our hair. Like, your hair is all fancy and curly. Mine's is all short. Now, I feel like everybody in this is watching right now yeah. is getting a residual hairline. Like, a residual <laughs> short up, short, sharp shape up. That's for me. The thing is, is the contrast. It's like nice, clean cut, just natural wildness. And it's just. It's Booster's fault. The, light, the lighting is. Yeah, it's not the best. But you know what? I don't know what's going on here. It's all right. We forgot to pay our electric bills, guys. A lot of hype is going on. I can't believe how many people are here. Oh, yes. We got 75 in singles, and we got 21 teams in doubles. Yo, Moose. Uh, the match just called on 11. Blue and Thunder and Rina Machacho don't start yet. Give me a full screen. Look at this, guys. Yes, we got 75 people entered in singles and 21 in doubles. Guys, we are getting there. We are getting there. This is what I love to see. I see a lot of talent, a lot of potential, a lot of great players here. I see the Mario uh, on the wall. Yeah, that that's that's hot. That's hot. That's that's not that's not something you get at any venue, guys. That's the orange wall. Yo, soon this um, background is gonna have the Buzz Calamity logo on it. Yes. So stay tuned for that. That'll be right here. I can't wait. Like you. every day, the lab improve. Wait, I every week. Up. Every week it gets better and better. It's better beautiful. and better. Like the wall, like when we came here, there was like random things on the wall. Right. We had like a, a chalkboard thing over there that we were, had to like use a ladder to climb on. Yeah. Uh, what did the walls were this is not like, painted. Yeah, it weren't not painted. It was just quick. We didn't yeah. we didn't have a couch in the back. We had a couch in the back. We were we in struggle city. It, it is, it, we were and now we coming up. We got brand new painting. We have the orange wall for BC matching the logo on your screen right there. We I know it's hard to see in uh in the stream, but it's a quite different orange. It's yeah. like, like I think it, one's blazing orange and one's like calm orange. Something like that. Blazing orange, blazing Just pasta. pasta. That's uh, that's the reason why they bought it. Uh, that's the reason why they bought it's it. It's crazy. So if you guys want to see it in person, come through to the lab. Yes, yes. Hatboro, PA, guys, right outside the Philadelphia area. It's a nice little suburbs, nice quiet place. This is the spot to be for Smash in the city of Philadelphia. Thank you, Pomo. There we go, guys. I also want to talk to you all about Brotherly Love X. I was talking about it earlier, but um, we got cut off for the first match. Right. But if you guys don't know, Brotherly Love and Boats Calamity host Brotherly Love. Yeah, Brothers Calamity host Brotherly Love. It is the monthly tournament we have here in the Philadelphia area, yep. hosted right here at the laboratory. And we have a lot of events coming through. We open up at 10 a.m. And with $10, you can get into the venue and play as much as you want. If you want to enter the, any of the tournaments, well, they cost $10 as well for any event. If you want to do Smash Wii U 1v1 stamina matches, that's our fun event we're doing at the very beginning. 12, um, be here about 12 p.m. If you want to be here for doubles, be here at 1.30 p.m. Guess what? After doubles, I forgot to write it down, but after doubles, we're doing 3v3. Yep. We're doing 3v3. That's how and much fun we're going to have here, guys. Then we're doing Brawl and Rivals of Aether. So if you like any of them, come through at 2.30. So and of course, the, the main, the main event, Smash We Use Singles. Singles. Goes down at 3 p.m. Eastern. Yes. If you guys want to come through, it's going to be on February 20th, 2016, live streamed exclusively on twitch.tv slash Bros Calamity. And if you guys want to come through and actually enter the event, bottom right corner of your screen shows the address of 5 Williams Lane, Hatboro, PA, 19040. Come through. Brody Love X. It's going to be powerful. Oh, yes. It's uh. Yo, tell me about the last event. What's like The last Bully Love. The last Bully Love? Oh, I don't think I was here. You weren't here? Like, I, I wasn't here either. I was hoping you did. I was, I, I, I was sick. So I couldn't make it. But I was here for Bubbly Love 8. 
I was here. We uh, had that crew battle. Yes, that crew battle that was all that and a bag of chips. That West, was amazing. West uh, Central PA versus Philadelphia. We had like 84 entrants. 84 entrants, guys. That's we had um we had a, yeah we had a crew battle. We also want to try and get um, a money match segment here, but the thing is, like it's kind of an opposite thing because we're sitting here trying to. Like, we promote brotherly love, but we need some people to get softy towards each other. Right. We do, because we're trying to post all, um, we're trying to host all love lost. Yes, we need to get That's hype, like, we need to get the salt, we need to get the... Some bad blood. Yes. I want to start rivalries, I want to start all, right. yep. all that good stuff. All love lost. Like, shoot, we 